You're just in time. Ames has brought around some delicious lemonade. What was that about? Will asked, taking a seat. He put up a hand to the lemonade and rolled a cigarette instead. They reached the asylum and settled into a gracious visiting room near the back of the main building. The rain, which had started gently. Just because he's sick doesn't mean he isn't telling us the truth. Or his version of it anyway, Henry said, his voice tight. Okay, okay, don't get hot. Then don't tell me what to feel, Henry said through his teeth. Help us, help us, help us. Evie staggered down the hall, desperately in need of air. She stumbled outdoors and sucked in a lungful of cold mist. The rain was a solid wall. Good morning and welcome to day two of Booktubeathon, where I daily vlog all day long and all my reading. So it is 11.40. I have done makeup because I've got some stuff to film today and some things to get done. And I have finished The Rest of Us Just Live Here by Practic Patrick Ness. I actually finished this last night. I think I'm going to go with four stars for The Rest of Us Just Live Here. It ended up being really fast. It ended up being something that I did enjoy. And I liked the friendships. I liked the discussions that were taking place. But it has a bunch of triggers. Like more than I thought it probably would have. I wasn't really going into this expecting any kind of trigger warnings. I thought it was going to be tongue in cheek and cute. Definitely not. Definitely dark. Definitely a little bit deep. Uh, we do have blood, death of an animal, harm to animal. We have um, like any kind of trauma. Like if you don't like car accidents, this is not going to be a book that you like because I personally, having just been in a couple of them, not a fan of hearing about car accidents, but there's a car accident in this one. OCD rep in this. We have a lot of triggers for suicidal thoughts, a lot of really dark, depressing kind of topics. So depression definitely gets talked about, anxiety gets talked about, OCD gets talked about, eating disorders gets talked about. So if you've got triggers for eating disorder or OCD, anxiety, depression, and suicidal thoughts, this is going to be a rough one for you. But um, other than that, it actually was, oh, also bombings in social situations like of like a social event and kind of like terroristy attacks, not the right one for you. I think I really did like it. So I'm going to go with four stars. It was not too bad. This is my third completed book for the readathon. Also this morning while I was doing my makeup, I listened to more of my audiobook of Before the Devil Breaks You. 48% of Before the Devil Breaks You and stuff is happening. I'm nervous. I'm scared. I don't think I like it. I mean, I like it. I love it, but it's nerve wracking. Goals for today. I need to film a couple of beauty videos. I need to film my August TBR, which I have not figured out yet. So I'm going to film that. It's going to be a pretty loose TBR because honestly, I don't know what I want to read. Just not sure. This was my coin toss challenge. So this one counted for my coin toss. So that's one challenge done. Drop that book. Dropped it real good. And then the first time she drowned was either green on the cover or a pretty spine because I really do like it. And then what else did I finish? Miss Marvel. Oh, that counted for the hat, wear a hat while you're reading because I wore my headband while I read. I took off the headband for my update, but I actually had read the entirety of that thing with the headband on. Three challenges down, potentially four if I decide that I want to double up on this particular one. I'm going to read Open Road Summer today, which was my something that I've always wanted to do because I've always wanted to take a giant cross-country road trip. So I'm going to move through this one. I'm only a little bit of the way through. Got to 42% of the way through Rule last night and finished my pages for today. And that one, sadly, I still am not enjoying. I don't think I like the uh, magic system. I'm not particularly invested in any of the three main characters or their stories 
or their plights and secrets and whatnot. So sadly, I went in to rule expecting a lot. I didn't know too much about it when I requested it from NetGalley, but then the hype was kind of real for it. I'm not loving it. I'm still waiting, obviously. I'm just under halfway down that one. I kind of want to read Vicious by V.E. Schwab. I also may throw in Radio Silence. I also have an ebook of Ramona Blue. I don't know. I have options, and I just don't know what I want to read right now. So I might wait on my uh, TBR for August, actually, because I feel like I might just be throwing stuff in. I I'm gonna put a whole bunch of books up here and I'm gonna try to get you guys on like some kind of a wonky tripod so I can film my unboxings because I do have a couple of things to unbox for you today. Also, reminder, that giveaway link is still open for the Jord watch. You, I believe get an automatic $25 off of your order, but there's a potential to win $180 off of your order and you should go and just use the giveaway link. It's like super easy, cost you nothing, couple of minutes and the potential there for like a really bitchin awesome watch is like clutch so one package two package and i'm gonna unbox them so i'm gonna put you down here so you saw me do a little bit of my makeup earlier today in this particular angle which is not like a super flattering one for me i'm sorry but uh it's what you're gonna get so first up i'm gonna start with this which was a traveling book and it came back to me and i can't wait to look at it i'm actually gonna probably give you a little bit of a flip through of this because i can't wait to see what everybody thinks of it this is actually not the traveling book that I thought it was, which is interesting because that means that I have another traveling book out there that I need to keep track of. This one is Invincible Summer by Hannah Moskowitz, and this is one of my absolute favorite books. It is troubling. It's not completely without flaws. Like, it definitely has flaws, but I also bawled my eyes out reading this. Like, bawled my eyes out. I'm kind of interested to see what everybody said about it because... I put a whole bunch of my thoughts in this. This is one of the first ones that I sent out that I actually annotated before it went out. So people were able to read this and get my thoughts as well as everybody else's who read. Amanda read this, Ashley read this, Wendy read this, and Rosie read this. I can't wait to see what they all thought of it and uh, just dive in. I'm really, really excited. But now I'm wondering where my Hazelwood is. Do I, I don't have my Hazelwood arc back that was a traveling book. I gotta look into that one because I want that book. I love it. Anyway, I will show you a flip through of that one in a minute. But first, I have a book depository order that I placed that I had to have. This feels so tiny. So this was a little bit of a treat to myself. The UK versions of books, especially UK paperbacks, are really, really affordable. I think this was $7. Book depository is free shipping. And I used my link because I always use my link when I order. So I got this lovely bookmark with this. It's like a ticket. And I bought The Wicked Deep in paperback, which is like a tiny paperback. This one is, as you guys know, one of my absolute favorite books. And I have two of the hardback versions, one that I read and annotated and one that Chelsea actually got for me and is signed by Shay to me. And I really, really wanted the UK version. It's got like a little bit of a metallic sheen on it. It's just gorgeous. I wanted to have this version. It's just, it's pretty beautiful. Look at that page with like the hand coming up. Oh, so pretty. I just really wanted to have this cover and I really wanted to have this edition. I feel like I just want to collect all things Wicked Deep. I just love it so, so much. That is everything for my unboxing right now. I'm going to go find lovely homes on the shelves for both of these and I'm going to give you a quick flip through of this in a minute and then dive into open road summer because I actually can just relax and read for a little bit right now so next time you see me will be post a little bit of a flip through and I will uh, be reading open road summer hopefully so I'll check in with you guys later bye always researching for sentences and how the author uses them to grip the readers this one is an interesting one Gideon does fall down a lot. Rosie realized that she was using the same color pen as somebody else. Look at all this. This is a ton of annotation and I love it. I can't wait to reread this. I'm trying to remember what color I used. So I did red over here, uh, which I think Rosie started off with and then realized that I was also doing red and then she switched. So my stuff is in red, but I did annotate a little tiny bit uh, before. I love this one. They use the curse word shit damn and it cracked me up. I don't use shit damn enough. I really should. 
I really struggled to not give away like plot points. Like I knew the story. So when I was annotating, I didn't want to like, I didn't want to give anything away. But you guys did a phenomenal job of annotating. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm so proud of you. Look at all this annotating. I know it's hard sometimes. Like when you first get into it, you're not used to writing in a book or something. And it's really difficult to kind of get into the vibe of truly marking it up. This is amazing. I did a whole bunch of underlining on that page. And so much, so much writing. You guys did great. I'm so happy that this is, that this is like in my collection now. Like that this is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite books. And that you guys hopefully liked it too. You know what I don't see in here is like a star rating. Like I don't see, oh, here we go. So Ashley gave it three out of five stars. Rachel gave it three stars. Another three stars. Um, so it seems like this is a whole bunch of a three stars. Like everybody kind of gave it three. Amanda, I guess, didn't give a rating or let me know what her final thoughts were. Where this is like a five star for me. Like I can totally 100% see the flaws. But it made me cry so much that like the end pages are like buckled with my tears. So that has been this particular flippy through. If you have not read this one, it does have some trigger warnings. Check out my review on Goodreads, but it's worth it. I love it, love it, love it. Back in my ever-present bed. I don't know why. It's just the comfiest place to read. So I just got done having lunch. I've eaten. It's 2.15 and I've been reading Before the Devil Breaks You. I got from 42% to 55%, which is no small feat. I do listen at double time. This is a long one, so that's quite a while to listen. And January Lavoy is by far the best narrator ever. Like, I just need to look up everything she's ever narrated and just listen to them all. She's phenomenal. If you have not read this yet or you want to continue, I highly recommend the audiobooks. They are absolutely amazing. I don't know how she does voices for all of these characters, but they're all different. They all have their own voice and it's just her. It sounds like a full cast, but it's just her and it's so great. Now update that on Goodreads because you guys know I'm like obsessed with updating on Goodreads. I don't care if it's only like 2% difference. I have to update all the time. And then I'm going to get back to Open Road Summer which I really am not that far into, but I really want to make progress on because I think that's probably going to be the only thing I finish today. I know I'm not going to finish, obviously, before the devil breaks you. I'm going to give this until like six o'clock. And if I don't make significant progress on this or like finish that, I'll probably read In an Absent Dream or look on Hoopla for a graphic novel. I do want to continue with Giant Days. I think I've only gotten up to the second or third volume, so I do want to continue, and I know Hoopla has a whole bunch of those. I also want to look for Moonstruck, I think, is the name of the graphic novel. It was like a female-female witchy romance, or Spellbook on Wheels, I think, is another one I wanted to look and see if they had. I do want to definitely do another graphic novel, but right now I only have Hoopla loaded on my phone, and I want to load it on my Nook, because I think that that would be a lot easier to read. So I'm going to like put in my passwords and all that, my library card number for Hoopla and download that on my Nook so that I can like read it a little bit larger. So I'm going to do that as well. I'm going to get back to reading, but so far so good. I really have only done the audiobook all day while I did like made lunch, ate lunch, and did my makeup and stuff. So that is the update. Not a whole lot of progress, but I mean... 13% of that audiobook is pretty significant, so not too shabby. I'm gonna get back to reading. Not a flattering angle, but I just don't, I don't care. Welcome to my full face of makeup lazy vlog. I have had zero footage today because I've been answering emails and just doing stuff, like non-reading stuff. It hasn't been great. It's also kind of rainy and gross out. I've got a little bit of a headache. This vlog is going to be the most boring thing ever. Like, truly, truly boring. My phone is going off. Um, I've been reading Open Road Summer a lot more. <laughs> like, I'm more than halfway done now. I think I only have about 120 pages left, so I will definitely be finishing this today. It is just about 5 o'clock now, and my goal was to do some um, graphic novels from Hoopla today, 
but I'm done my hoopla requests. Like I can't have any more. So I've got to wait till tomorrow, till August. Tomorrow's August. Oh my gosh. Anyway, I'm just going to keep reading this. And if I finish this, then maybe in an absent dream. I do want to read Letters to the Lost. So maybe. We're going to wait and see. Anyway, I want to finish this first. I'm just going to motor through it because now I'm invested. So it's super cheesy and cute and kitschy and fluffy, but it's kind of adorable. I'm not even mad at it right now. Hi friends, I am here with another reading update for Booktubeathon Day 2, and it is for Open Road Summer by Emery Lord, which I have now finished. This was really cute, kind of tropey, but not problematic, like I'm cool with it. It does have a couple little trigger warnings which I will discuss in a Goodreads review, um, mainly for uh, physical abuse within a relationship, cheating, substance abuse. I honestly can't find anything that I hate about it, but it wasn't good enough to be like a five star, like blow my mind read. So I'm probably gonna go with four stars. Usually contemporaries have to like really blow me away to get a four or five, but this one was really cute. I did really like it. This is book number four. This was for the challenge of something that I want to do. So I've done number one, number two. Number three is the movie and film, which I'm not going to do. Number four was a hat, right? Done that, green on the cover also done that because this is a ton of green and something that I wanted to do. I feel like I don't remember what the rest were. But regardless, I'm doing really good. I will definitely be doing a couple of graphic novels. I do have them like favorited on Hoopla. I'm just going to wait until tomorrow and do those. Tonight, I may or may not go into In an Absent Dream, but honestly, like I just sat for like a solid continuous amount of time and read that book and my eyes are kind of blurry. For those of you that don't know, I had LASIK about eight years ago, almost nine years ago. And whenever I spend that long reading, my eyes get really fatigued. And so right now, like literally everything is blurry. Like looking at myself in the viewfinder or across the room to try to read something, like everything is blurry. So I may just upload the footage that I have already from today and just edit and not worry about doing anything else. And I don't want to rush through in an absent dream. Like I want to actually really enjoy it. It's seven o'clock now and this might just be it for me. I don't really know how long the footage is from today. I feel like it's definitely going to be shorter than yesterday's, but that's okay. And at least you got a full vlog of me in makeup, which like never happens. I don't know, but look, look what's up there. Can you see? I got the Wicked Deep on top of Wicked Deep. I got double Wicked Deep. That sounds like something incredibly sexual. It isn't. But I'm very, very happy with that. Like, look how pretty that is. She's so nice. Ugh. Ugh. Ah. Ugh. So pretty. Ooh, I can also change this, because tomorrow I'm going to have to anyway. Oh, that's kind of creepy in like the best way. Not too shabby, two four star reads. So better than yesterday's two three star reads. I anticipate In an Absent Dream being five star. I have five starred every other book from that series, which is up there. And I anticipate that I'm going to five star this one too. I can't imagine giving it anything less. Like even if there's tiny imperfections, it's just a five star series for me. That is it for today for Booktubeathon day two. I am so appreciative of everybody who commented on yesterday's vlog and said like, we love your vlogs. I love that you love my vlogs. I love that you like to come along with me, especially because my vlogs are not that entertaining. I don't brew coffee or sit my camera down to like do artsy things or go out and about. Like I am such a homebody and because I'm such like a crazy introvert and I know I have such a busy weekend coming up with my sister's wedding, I hermit so that I can reserve energy before like giant social things. So I'm hermiting prior to the storm. So I appreciate everybody who really like is okay with my really subdued and dorky in my bedroom vlogs. I appreciate you so, so much. Maybe tomorrow I will give you a sneak peek of what my dress looks like. It is really, really pretty. I am really happy about it. And then Thursday I go for a nail appointment and then my eyebrows, which need to be done so badly. And then a couple errands for my sister. And then Friday is rehearsal and rehearsal dinner. And then Saturday is early morning hair and makeup. I gotta redo my hair too. I gotta redo my roots, which I'll probably do tomorrow night. And then the wedding. And then Sunday, if the weather holds up, will be a double header back to back baseball game for my new brother in law. And I think we're gonna try to go and cheer him on post the wedding. 
which could be special. Like, I don't know what shape I'll be in to do that, but we'll see. And then I'll close out the vlog with, like, one last, like, maybe reading update, but I don't think I'm gonna get a whole bunch done those days either. So I'm gonna go upload this footage. That's gonna be it for Booktubeathon day two. Thank you to everybody who just found me through Booktubeathon. I've tried to go back to your channels and check out some videos and subscribe as well. I love being a part of this community. It is one of the best things ever, and I've been watching everybody's vlogs, trying to, like, comment on as many as humanly possible. Thank you for hanging out with me on day two of Booktubeathon. If you like this video, please do give me a big thumbs up, click subscribe, and I will see all of you in my next one.